Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. Welcome if you are new here. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. So today we are shopping my stash. Sometimes it's good to shop with your existing products that you already have to cure the itch of new makeup. You can just dig through what you've got and find some things that you totally forgot about or things that you haven't even used yet or things that you used to love that you haven't used in a long time. I love that idea. So that is exactly what I did today to get this look. If you enjoyed these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up while you're watching it. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And all the products that I talk about in the video today that I can link, if they are still available, I will link them down in the description box below. Let's go shopping in my stash. Okay, so we're gonna start with, ow. <laughs> I'm gonna start with eyeshadow palettes. I'm sorry, I already know which one I'm gonna choose, but that's okay, we're gonna look anyway. So, wait, wait. These are all my like indie palettes. Yes, I'm gonna choose the Nomad Whistler Snow Lodge palette. I bought this at the beginning of the year, I still haven't used it yet. What is wrong with me? Don't answer that. So, I'm really feeling this. I know it's not very spring, but I don't know, I'm feeling like I wanna try this palette today, so. That is what we're gonna choose. So now let's go to foundation. So I have a ridiculous amount of foundations right now. I don't know why I need this many. Plus I have these four that were in my like everyday makeup drawer. I kind of need to wear this makeup all night. So I'm thinking I want something that's pretty long wearing. I do like the Milani Screen Queen for that. And the Beauty Blender one is, oop! Beauty Blender one's good for that. This L'Oreal one is good too. Hmm. I think I'll choose, I'll choose the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. So we'll choose that one. Um, so these are some of my powders. I have more powders that I've, I've got in my everyday makeup drawer, but let's try one of these. So let's use, let me use my Ilia powder. Let's use that one for primer because I want this to, I only have four primers. I'm really not a primer person, but I want this to last all night, like I said, so I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip. As you can see, it's like almost gone. That's how much I love it. For bronzer, let's use one I haven't used in a long time. Oh, this Kylie Cosmetics one. Oh my God, I haven't used this in forever. It's a really good bronzer. This is toasty. Okay, I'll use that. And do I want a cream bronzer? Yeah, I'll use the, I'll use the Janessa Myricks one. This is the power bronzer in the shade light. It's a good one. I'll use that. I can't even, listen, don't judge me on how I store all this stuff. I'm trying to work on a new system here. I can't even fit everything where it needs to go. Blushes, I have a crazy ridiculous amount of blushes. Actually, I even have up here like face, blush, bronzer, palettes, all of this stuff up here. Maybe I should choose one of these for blush. I do like this Natasha Denona Diamond, Diamond and Blush palette for blush. It has cream blushes, powder blushes. Maybe I'll use this for my blush and highlight. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll use that. I don't really use that very often. For mascara and brows, I'm not gonna do anything crazy, sorry, because I use the Marc Jacobs Lash Primer just because I have to, it's the best ever. And I try not to open too many mascaras at once. So the ones I have open right now are the Revlon Big Bad Lash, the NYX On The Rise, which is my favorite. This is like a sample size of the Cali Ray, which is a tubing mascara, which I don't like tubing mascaras. I like them for my lower lash line. So maybe we'll use that. And then the NARS Climax, which is really, really good. So I'll, I'll use the NYX one. It is my go-to. And then for brows, I'm really trying to use up this Oma by Sharon C one and done two in one brow styler. So I will use that for the pencil side. And then I'm gonna use my ABH clear brow gel because I need this to stay in place. This will do it for me. I have so many blushes, like this is all blushes. Oh, but I have this blush. No, I'm gonna stick with my instincts. Stick with my instincts. We're gonna do a nude lip because pff, nude lips are life. So these are all my lip liners and I would say 90% of them are nudes. Like why do I need this many? 
Um, I did use KKW Nude One. Oops, I just pulled it out the other day, and oh my goodness, is it such a beautiful, like, brown nude. Loves it. So I think I will use this, even though it's, you can't buy it anymore or anything, but whatever. And then let's go over to lipsticks over here. So all my bullet lipsticks are up here with a couple of glosses in the back. My glosses, I've like really pared this down. This used to be a ridiculous collection. All my liquid lipsticks and then my Charlotte Tilbury products are here. So I did get some new Julia's Place lipsticks. Maybe one of these is gonna, that's a little too pink. Maybe I'll use this one. This is like my favorite Juvia's lipstick in Libra. And then I'll use a lip gloss on top. I don't have a lot of options for lip gloss anymore, which is good, I guess. Fenty gloss bomb, Fenty gloss, Fenty gloss bomb. I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline. We'll use that. Okay, I think that's all we need, so we're just gonna get ready. Okay, so um, I wasn't recording that whole time. So you didn't miss very much. Uh, I basically took the Whistler Snow Lodge palette and I used the shade Opera Ski all in my crease, which is that mint green matte color. Then I used a tiny little titch of Bucking Great in my outer corner for some depth. And I was saying to nobody apparently that I really don't want a lot of this green because I want it to be very minty fresh, but I wanted a tiny bit of depth in that outer corner. Listen, these mattes are incredibly easy to blend and they are incredibly pigmented for a mint green. Like look at that shadow. That's insane. I was also saying that I don't love like blues and like bright greens. I mean like minty greens on me as much. I wish I loved blue eyeshadow, but I just, I don't know. I'm trying to love it. All right, we're gonna take some of the NYX glitter primer. I'm gonna pop this on my lid. I'm going to take the shade Whistler, which is this super pretty mint green shimmery shade. Looks super beautiful and sparkly. And I'm gonna pop that on my lid. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <gasps> Stun, 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 stun. That is beautiful. Ooh, that is so pretty. That metallic shade is stunning. Like absolutely stunning. Okay, I am going to, I'm gonna add a wing I think to this look. I'll add a wing and I will put on some mascara and I will be back to finish up the rest of my face. Okay, my wings are not even close to the same. It is what it is, okay? Always my left side. <laughs> I don't know what it is. This is my bad eye. I can never get it to look as good as my right eye. And with winged liner, it's always like, it droops down more than this one, no matter what I do. So, you know, to make it even, I just have to go like this. Okay, I'm gonna put on the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. This is my favorite mascara of all time. It adds such beautiful lift and volume without being clumpy. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it because of the eyeliner, but it definitely does something for my sad baby lashes. Yes, I know I got mascara on my eye. I see it. I'm letting it dry <laughs> and then I'll take it off. Okay, I'm gonna take my earrings off. Let's put on some primer, shall we? So I also have my all time favorite primer is the NYX Hydro Grip Primer. I truly feel like it grips my makeup and it makes my makeup last a lot longer than if I don't use it, honestly. So I am gonna just do like one and a half pumps of this. And just add it all over. And then let's sit for like 30 seconds to a minute or so before I start applying other stuff on top. Okay, I am going to apply the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. We don't have to shop the stash for this because it is always right by my desk, right by me. It is my number one holy grail makeup product of all time. If I had to get rid of all my makeup and only keep one product, it would be this. It is 
my favorite. <laughs> I feel like it makes such a huge difference with these super dark circles that I've got. Okay, and next up we have the Beauty Blender Bounce Liquid Whip Long Wear Foundation. I have mine in the shade 2.20 N slash O. I love this foundation. I have this, I actually have a backup as well, which I don't really like to buy backups of foundation, especially just because it takes so long to get through a foundation, but I love this foundation. It is, I would say, leaning matte and it's medium coverage. It has an olive undertone, which I so appreciate. And it's just a nice foundation. It's not my most favorite foundation of all time. I do feel like it does sink into my smile lines and my forehead lines a little bit more and a little bit faster than other foundations. But generally speaking, I really enjoy this foundation a lot. I'm going to use a beauty blender to apply it. And the way they suggest it is to like pump it out onto here and then I don't do that. It's too messy. I just pump it literally right out onto my beauty blender. Oh no. Let's bounce this baby. Hello? Hi, I decided to get a smoothie. Do you want one? No, thank you. Okay, I love you. I love you, bye. My forehead's feeling really dry today. I don't get it. As I proceed to add more foundation to my forehead. Probably not the smartest idea. I forgot to pick out concealers with you guys, sorry. And I forgot to pick out lashes with you, sorry. Anyway, we're gonna go on to concealer. So I am going to mix the Milani Conceal and Perfect in Light Natural and the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy in Light Beige. I love this combo. It's a good combo for me. A super matte concealer with a creamier concealer. It just works for me personally. My under eyes are feeling super dry too. What is going on? Usually I'm like an oil slick, like very oily, very greasy. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm going to use my Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. I love this powder. I love this powder. It is so good. Apart from the MAC and Patrick Stars powder, this is my favorite powder of all time. It is a white powder though, so it probably does give flashback. I don't do flash photography very often, so it doesn't bother me. But I would say that if you are of like a medium or deep skin tone, I don't know that you're gonna like this because it's it's literally a white powder. This is my second one and I am almost like getting to be done with it. And by the way, it gets everywhere. I have white powder all over me right now. <laughs> I just feel like it airbrushes wherever you put it, to be honest with you. And I love that it doesn't alter the color of my concealer. I love it. Okay, let's do cheeks next. We're gonna start off with the Danessa Myricks Beauty Power Bronzer in the shade Light. I love this cream bronzer. It is definitely a thicker, moussier texture. I actually really like to use this with a sponge. So I'm gonna get this on the bottom of my damp sponge and just press it into the perimeter of my face. I think I'm really tan because it's not really showing up very strong on me. <laughs> In my opinion, this is like just super easy to apply. It's really beginner friendly. It doesn't lift your foundation underneath. It's just really easy to use. Okay, we're gonna go on to cream blush. We're gonna go on to cream blush next. So I have the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. This one is in the shade 01 Daria. I bought this on Sephora's sale page, like, I don't know, at least a year ago. It was marked, I think 50% off or something crazy like that. And this is a really pretty palette. 
it's definitely more on like the editorial side. Like the textures in this are very interesting. They're not like your typical highlighters, your typical blushes. The colors are quite different, but I really enjoy using this palette a lot and it's really fun to use. So first let's go into the cream blush, which is right here. That is in the shade cream blush. These are buildable, okay? They are a little bit on the drier side. They're not gonna be super pigmented off the bat. And because I have such, so much going on in my eyes, I'm not gonna go crazy with the blush today. I want it to be a little bit less. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm not gonna use the cream highlighter. I'm gonna end up using the powder highlighter, but first we are going to go in with powder bronzer. And this is the Kylie, the old Kylie Cosmetics uh, bronzer in the shade Toasty. I love this bronzer. I haven't used this in forever, which is cool about these types of videos, right? I'm rediscovering products. This is like the perfect neutral tone. It's a matte bronzer. It's super easy to use, super blendable. I really, really like this bronzer a lot. So I'm gonna set that cream bronzer with this. I don't think I'm going to use this powder blush on top because it's super glowy. I think I'm just gonna leave the cream blush as it is and put on a highlighter. So this is the Glow Extreme. I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's try it. That'd be sparkly but that's okay. We're not going for a subtle look today, as you can see. That is pretty. I'm gonna do something a little risky. I'm gonna do something just a little risky. I may regret this, but I'm gonna take the black, which is called Ski Out in the palette, and I'm gonna do black on my lower lash line and connect it to my wing. This could go wrong really fast, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spray the black. I'm gonna put it on a little tiny brush here, a little flat brush, just grabbing whatever setting spray is closest to me. I'm gonna spray that and I'm gonna go. Oh, that looks good. I think I'm gonna bring it in. Let's bring it into about there. What is that? Seven eighths of the way. Oh, I like how that looks so far. Okay, I'm gonna take a slightly fluffier pencil brush. If I have one that's clean, which I probably don't, clean enough. <laughs> this is a, a Blend Bunny B4 little blending pencil brush. I'm gonna go lightly into the black. Lightly, 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 lightly. I'm gonna tap off, tap off. And I'm just going to smudge under that just to smoke it out a tiny, tiny bit. Quite a nice black. It's pretty pigmented. I'm gonna pop the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Icebreaker into my waterline. I think it's gonna go perfect. Yeah, that almost looks white. I can't really tell that there's any green to that, but gets the job done. And then listen, my new favorite thing to do is to have a white matte inner corner. So I'm gonna take the Blend Bunny Blends palette and I am going to use the matte white called cream and sugar and I'm gonna pop that in my own inner corner all right next up for brows I have the Oma by Sharon C one and done two in one brow styler in the shade 06 I've been really enjoying this brow pencil a lot uh, it's a little creamy for sure but the brow gel part like the tinted brow gel is so good I love to use it just on its own, like for a quick brow, but I'm gonna be using the pencil side today. Then I'm pop some ABH Clear Brow Gel through my brows. Okay, we have our nude lip combo. So KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Nude One. Such good lip liners. It's really a shame you can't get them anymore. Although these lip liners 
They're almost identical to the ColourPop ones because I think they were owned by the same company, right, before, so they're very similar to the ColourPop ones. Okay, and then I have the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Libra. This is such a beautiful warm nude, like, I love it. Gorgeous. And we're gonna top that with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline, a classic warm nude lip gloss. It's a really nice one, especially for the price. Pretty. Okay, I am going to pop on the Unearthly Cosmetics Boundless Lashes. Oh, I love, 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 love these lashes so much. I wore them recently and I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna pop these on. I'm gonna like get myself together, do my hair, get myself ready, and I will be back and we will chat. Okay, and this is the final look. What do you think? Um, the eyes are bold. The eyes are bold. But I kind of like it. I think it's fun, it's different. I really don't wear mint green so often. So I do like how it looks. This shimmer shade was absolutely beautiful. It's glittery and sparkly without being like texture enhancing on the lids. It's so, so pretty. The mattes that I used in this were incredibly easy to use, easy to blend, pigmented, all that. Really love that. I'm really glad I rediscovered this Natasha Denona blush and highlight palette. I think I need to get some more use out of this because it was expensive. But apart from that, it, it's a nice palette. Yeah, it's always fun to go through your stash and find some stuff that you haven't used in a while, maybe you forgot about, things that are old favorites, things that you're like, I haven't even used this yet, like the eyeshadow palette was for me. So I'm really glad I got some use out of my products that I already have in my collection. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And leave me a comment down below about any of the products that I used today. I would love to know your thoughts. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.